care covering the coronavirus pandemic on this Tuesday morning as pediatricians all across the tri state struggle to keep up with the need for appointments. WCPO Niners reporter Alec Kramer joins us live from Crestview Hills with a look at how officers are changing the way they care for kids during the pandemic. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, guys. I mean, absolutely, they have to change. They have to be able to adjust. We know hospitals are overwhelmed and overwhelmed, and pediatricians are the same way, just like the Pediatric Associates of Northern Kentucky here in Crestview Hills. I mean, they are scrambling every day to be able to vaccinate as many kids as possible, but then also treat those children who have contracted COVID-19. So you're kind of playing both sides of it just as much. And we talked with Dr. Charlie Cavallo. He's been with the practice for 18 years. He says they usually field about a thousand calls a week from parents needing advice on a sick child. Now that number is about 1700 a week. Think about how many people it takes to be able to take all those calls and then return all those phone calls. In December, Dr. Cavallo says it was mostly flu, RSV and stomach viruses. The mass majority now is COVID. Dr. Cavallo tells parents that he's seeing some patients with fevers that last up to a week, and that's really the most concerning situation. He says the best thing for parents to do is to encourage their children to wear a mask in school, even if it's not required by the district. The next protections, of course, are staying home when you're sick and vaccinating. This is the most COVID we've seen in the entire pandemic right now. About 30% of our tests are coming back positive, where, you know, previously it might have been 5 or 10%. Um, so it's really a big uptick uh, right now. And, you know, we talked to Dr. Cavallo also kind of about what they're being able to do as far as vaccinating kids. He says some days they vaccinate up to 100 kids. They're still seeing a high demand for boosters for those kids that are eligible ages 12 and up. And so much so that they actually open Saturday clinics to be able to get to all of those patients. For now, reporting live in Crestview Hills, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News. You can